Liu Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is actually June 24th, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 99 of this year. If you guys remember, just a few weeks ago here on the YouTube channel, I shot a video at this exact same river using what I consider to be one of the best universal baits for multi-species fishing, right? AKA night crawlers, AKA worms. And a bunch of you came here on the comment section and kind of commented what you guys believed to be uh, a better bait, right? Uh, for multi-species fishing. And a lot of people actually gave me feedback on shrimp. So you know what? I actually got myself some frozen shrimp with me today check it out I got some frozen shrimp from the market and I thought well why don't we come out here and kind of put the, the hypothesis right up to the test I'm going to be fishing the same river doing some urban fishing on the Skugul River but today instead of night crawlers I'm going to be using some shrimp now the main question for today is am I going to catch more species in this video on the shrimp than I actually caught in the other video using night crawlers. Mmm, conditions are almost the same. The river is pretty muddy. Tide is pretty low, going from low to high right now. So stay tuned because today's video should be good. It is time to organize my fishing gear. I got three fishing rods with me today. All of them I'm going to be using shrimp two of them pretty heavy test one of them ultra light for the smaller species this is why i love having the rod holders right for the multi-species and for soaking bait your rod is not going anywhere even if a big fish gets it folks i just got done with first setup of the day no secrets over here right as always i'm going to leave everything in the description of the video as you guys can see just a quick high low rig this rod right here, I'm using a uh, tad bigger hooks with just pieces of shrimp. So I'm really aiming for some catfish from the river. The shrimp is kind of frozen, right? It is not that easy to keep the shrimp on the hook. So when I cast it out there, right, it's a little bit frozen. I know it is going to stay on the hook. As always, let it sink all the way down. And then the rest is just the waiting game. Oh, that was definitely 100% a hit. That was 100% a hit. I got circle hooks. I don't need to set up the hook. All I have to do is start reeling. There's a fish on here on the circle hook. Oh, yeah. First fish of the day on the shrimp coming up, son. I mean, it's by no means a big one. It feels all right. Maybe a little one, two pounder channel catfish. That's like my assumption right now. But you know, folks, this is a good sign because I've been here maybe for seven, eight minutes. Didn't even finish setting up my third setup yet. And already got a bite. Look at that little fish. Yeah, first species of the day. This one, I'm just going to swing it. Yeah, look at that, a huh? little one. <laughs> Boy, you really thought you could get away, huh? Hell no. We got here the channel catfish. The Ictalurus punctatus. Dang, dude. Definitely ate that shrimp pretty darn good. Not bad. Not bad. Eight minutes in. First fish of the day kind of showed up. Well, here's EPF knowledge of the day for you guys. You see this actually black markings dots on this channel catfish. It actually happens in all juvenile Ictalurus punctatus. I find this fish to actually be fascinating. I think they are very, very underestimated in the United States of America. I wouldn't particularly eat them from this specific body of water, but you know, if you find them in somewhere that is a little bit cleaner, it can actually give a proper meal. Boy, I'm going full savage mode on this rod right now. I'm getting a bite on that one. I actually put a whole shrimp on this one. Man, before I cast it out, I'll have to reel this one up. Dang, dude. Action on the river too hot. 
This one, I don't have circle hooks, so I have to set up the hook. Yeah, look at that, huh? There's second fish of the day coming up. It feels like a catfish. I'm using circle hooks on that rod and size four hooks on this rod because, you know, it is a multi-species video, right? So <laughs> we will see what actually shows up here. It's an eel. Dang, dude, it's not even a catfish. It's really second species of the day. Oh, man. It kind of messed up my whole line, though. But it's an American eel. Look at that, huh? Son. I have a love-hate relationship with these dudes, you know? It kind of messes up my whole setup. It's a pretty nice, pretty decent eel, too. Ugh, but now I have to take it off of my line. All right, all right, all right. Easy now, boy. Easy. Don't tangle my line worse than it is tangled, okay? Easy, boy. There we go. All right. Now, I don't want to touch it. It's the second species over here. Oh, man. I'm going to do a quick baseball throw, okay? Go! <laughs> all right, that was savage, but that fish is actually fine, all right? Much better than getting all of its lime coat, right, on my hands, right? I mean, were you targeting carp on purpose or know. it just happened like... Uh, my girlfriend had a night crawler. Really, dude? On the hook and... Dude, that must have been a great fight, man. Yeah, it was a 24 pound, yeah, 35 Yeah, 24 inches. pound, dude. It was... That's nice. Yeah, well, anyways, I gotta go back to shooting the video, bro. But hey, oh, thank you very much nice for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. Would you take a quick pic with me? Oh, hell yeah, absolutely, bro. Oh, yeah. Dude, my brother oh, yeah, dude. watches it. Oh, yeah. He just came right. to Philly and he's riding his bike looking for you. <laughs> absolutely, oh, dude. Thanks oh, yeah, for stopping yeah, by. Yeah. I appreciate all the love oh, and support. He's gonna be pumped. Send my regards to your brother, all right? Can I take a picture? Of course, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Let's do it. Yeah, I've been. Oh, you wanna just sell? Okay. It don't matter. Send me via Instagram and I post later, you know? Okay. Absolutely. Fine. Yes. Sorry? I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, brother. Thank you so much. You. Have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting a hit over here now. I can't even put my third rod in the water. There's a fish on here. Oh, yeah. This one's on. It feels like an eel, though. It doesn't feel like a catfish. Hmm, actually, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Now it feels a little bit like a catfish. Actually, it's got some... Oh, it's an eel. It's a big-ass eel, dude. Oh, my goodness. Please, no, don't tangle my line. Don't tangle my line, please. Oh, my goodness. It's another eel. Why are there so many eels in this river? Isn't the population supposed to be vulnerable around the world or something like that? I definitely don't want this eel to tangle, so, you know, gotta shake it a little bit. I didn't take a shot at the first one, so perfect sample as a second one of this video. Dude, that, these eels are loving that shrimp. Look at that. It's trying to tangle me all over. Ah, almost had it. Not easy unhooking this fellas. is liming all the grass. Let me take a quick shot at this guy and put him back. <laughs> you know, I just took a very lousy shot of this dude right here, and I'm satisfied with that. So let's do the scoop up like I did with the previous one. Boom! There it goes, huh? Down the river, happy it goes. Now, they say that the population of Anguilla Hostrata is actually diminishing all around the world but here in the Skuku River I have to tell you we still got a lot of eels for some reason I used to use them as bait cut bait nowadays I, I, I would rather use the perch or something like that so I let them go two species so far in this video haven't even put my small ultralight in the water yet because these rods keep getting bites non-stop so we will see what happens I kid you not, folks. I have been out here only for about 40 minutes 
a few people kind of stopped by to take a few shots. Caught two species so far and I've been getting bites on the pink and the pin rod non-stop. So finally, finally, 40 minutes later, I have a chance of putting my ultralight in the water to see what smaller species are around. <laughs> Hopefully something a little bit different is going to show up. Oh man, I'm getting a bite, I'm getting a bite. Dude, did you see that band, bro? I'm getting a bite on this one too. Are you kidding me? I got no time to microfish. Wow, this one's not on the circle hook. It's like they come in waves or something like that. When I get a hit, I got a hit on both of them and I need to put the small rod down. No time to even put the rod down. I mean, not that I'm complaining about it. The action's pretty hot. Oh, that's, that's, that's solid. That's more solid. That's a catfish. That's a catfish on that rod right there. Oh yeah, this one's on. Oh. It's so weird sometimes using the circle hook because you don't need to set the hook. So it's like, for me, I'm so used to send it to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that bad feeling. This one may be a little bit bigger than the last one. It's pulling a little bit of a drag. It may be, it's nag, oh no, it's nice. It's way nicer than the last one. You guys can see already surface. I'm using 30 pound test. So I will try to flip this dude up here. I am using a pen rod that has some pretty nice action. Can we do it? That's the main question. 30 pound test line with the... Uh, uh, yeah, we did it. Chunky, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, huh? Now this right here, my friends, is like maybe a four and a half, five pounder. I would say maybe four, four and a half. We'll take a measurement of this guy. I already took a shot of a fish today, so quick measurement and release. All right, let's see. I would say maybe four pounder, probably. Something like that, four on the dot. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 4.45 minus 0.11 from the leaper. So 4.34, right? Four to 4.5 pounds. Now this is a, this is a pretty darn, Decent catfish, okay? Nice channel catfish from the Schuylkill River. There are bigger ones down there, so I'm just gonna lip this dude now and put him back where he belongs. There we have it, final view of our second catfish of the day. Decent size, right? Nice fight coming from this river right here. I wish I could release in a little bit better over here, but the low tide, even if I had a seven, eight feet net, it doesn't really help it. Oh, damn, dude! Yo, did you see that single band right now? Wow, the fish didn't take it. That's the worst part. Oh, no, it's, it's on it. It's on it. How's it going, man? Oh, yeah, it's on it. Oh, yeah. This one is on, son. But again, <laughs> I don't know if it's an eel or a catfish. Ah! I don't know we will find out soon enough this pink rod is actually uh, medium light so it bends a lot even for the smaller fish I really like it though I've been using it for a few years if you guys follow me on the channel you know that I think it's a big eel it feels like a big eel man I don't know let's see it's about it's about to surface it's about to surface what is it maybe a catfish the bottom feeders are definitely loving the shrimp today. I'll give you that. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nicer catfish. Okay. Gotta let it run a little bit. This rod, I don't wanna pull it by the rod. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna risk breaking this rod. So <laughs> this one I'm going, to, I'm going to pull by the line. We're going to pull this one by the line because I don't want I don't want to risk it. No way. There's my St. Croix right here. It's a decent sized channel caddy. I would be extremely happy if it got off the hook right now by itself, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, pulling by the line, you know, a little bit of patience goes a long way. Yeah, a little fella. 
Wow, man, these guys down there are very active today and they are very, very hungry. I'll give them that. I'm gonna use my pliers. This one got hooked on the fat tissue on the side of the mouth, which can be a pain to take it out. But when you have pliers, just a little bit of twisting and it comes out right away. A little bit of blood as well, but this fish is going to be fine. All right, final view. Out of the water for less than 30 seconds. That's how it should be. Oh, 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 easy boy. Easy now. Oh, it's small. Actually, it feels pretty tiny. Little catfish, maybe. <laughs> Boy, is it an eel or a catfish? I don't know about multi species. The bite's hot today, but oh, it's a little catfish. Okay. Look at that, huh? Little chunker. Man, I got that shrimp pretty darn good too. Side of the mouth, size four hook. Bro. <laughs> Man, I'm laughing at the stuff because. It's been a while since I came to the river and the action was actually this good for me. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you, do you see that? Dude, look. The, I don't even know what to say, man. No, I'm handling this dude over here. That rod just gives like a more than 90 degrees bend over there. All right, let's see what we got here. This one's definitely on the circle hook. It seems pretty decent too. Yeah, this one feels pretty darn decent. By the way it was pulling, it felt decent already. Let's see what we got. Man, if I had friends down here, it would be double up on the river easily today. So far, when it comes to this video, I would say that Multi-species wise, I don't know about the shrimp, but when it comes to the bottom feeders, like I have mentioned in this video before, they definitely love it. Look at that, huh? About same size, not as big as I expected it to be. This one, I'm just gonna swing it. It, it seems like this catfish has got a line hanging, an additional line hanging for its mouth too. I'm not so sure. This one, I'm just gonna swing it, all or nothing. There we have it. All right, hooked on the side of the mouth. Easy on hook here. Circle hook, about what? Two, two pounder, maybe one and a half, two pounder. I would say about two pounds. Anything you have to say before I put you back? Yeah, I know, right? It was a nice meal, wasn't it? Oh, he's like, put me back, Asian. <laughs> there he goes. That catfish in particular left me such a nice gift, you know? I'll make sure that I don't forget him too soon. What the heck happened here? Huh, I have to say, folks, the shrimp definitely works. <laughs> I've been out here for about, like, what, two hours? And it was bite after bite. Just like the night crawler video, when I run out of night crawlers, I just stop fishing right now because I run out of shrimp. But this is the thing though, right? Today, it was like one of those days, rare days on this river, as a matter of fact, that it was like, you pick up this rod, the other rod's biting, you ruin this, this fish, right? The other rod's biting. So the action was really like nonstop. I ended up landing a few channel catfish, an American eel. But the thing is, Shrimp may be a really, really good bait to use, right? But multi-species wise, today was kind of like a disaster. You guys didn't really get to see in this video, but I had my ultralight rod down there with just like a, like a little tiny piece of shrimp, right? And I tried all different depths here in the river. I didn't get a single bite on the ultralight. I even cast it out there, you know, in hopes that maybe a little white perch, the Morone Americana was going to show up, or maybe a little yellow perch, the Perca Flavicens, and still 
nothing right so this is one of those videos that is just like it didn't quite turn out to be a multi-species fishing session it was more like a bottom feeder shrimp type of day right but needless to say if you do live around the area and you know the Schuylkill River is right here center city Philadelphia right drop a few pieces of shrimp down there man because you know the catfish today was really really fire all right if you guys have any other type of bait recommendation the recommendations please leave it in the comment section below uh who knows maybe i'll read it and i'm gonna pick another type of base to make another one of these videos what do you say maybe in a different location next time right thank you very much for watching guys it is about time for me to get back and have something to eat tight lines and take it easy